Hello and welcome to the second installment of my league uh, preview where we cover further seven teams. And yeah, a few teams I still have no information about, so um, stay tuned. I will, there will be a third part and where I also cover uh, a wager that I couldn't find for now. But let's get right to it because there are quite some jerseys that we have to cover more than in the first part. The first part was already quite long and we start with OM Marseille. Um, not my favorite team in France but they probably have the best color scheme or among the best color schemes in France and they are now taken over by Puma and they got a nice home jersey. Uh, white of course but I really like the light blue sleeves. Uh, OM droit de but uh, below uh, the crest written in gold, therefore also the golden uh, Puma logo makes sense. The only thing that does not make sense is the sponsor. <laughs> orange, of course it's in orange, but it, it's not too far off from the Puma logo. But yeah, that's the one thing that's a little bit of me wrong here. Uh, but overall, I even like the headed pattern uh, on the sleeves. It looks very interesting. It's a, it's not for me the classic Marseille jersey, but it really looks nice. So I give it an no. Let's look also back. Yeah, even on the back, the insert with the cross uh, with, as a reference to the flag of Marseille. That's a really nice touch. Now this is an eight star jersey. I really like that one. Let's go to the weight jersey. Almost like that one even better. This is black, and then you have it's very similar to the Arsenal away jersey, except that here the colors make more sense. Uh, Arsenal has a yellow away jersey. Marseille should have a very dark one and this is black with the light blue and then you have this pattern again the header pattern on the striping here and then the wavy pattern which I also think I like because you know Marseille is a port city so this could also reference the ocean and the sponsor is in white which doesn't show up anywhere on the jersey but uh, it actually doesn't bother me here. This is a nine. As I said Marseille really, really, really has nice uh, jerseys. And then the third jersey also makes a whole lot of sense. The light blue with the headed pattern almost looks like a uh, view in the distance over the sea and then the horizon right above the orange ends. So it is all light blue uh, with some black. I mean, the black I could do without. But also they, that also, also beautiful. All three are really great jerseys. I maybe for the monochromatic crest, but you know you wouldn't see it. But you know you could have made it white. Uh, yeah, maybe for that I only go eight here. But I like really this pattern. Uh, it really looks like an ocean view. This is perfectly connecting uh, the city of Marseille with its surroundings and with the colors. Really, really nicely done, Puma. This is probably the best set of Puma jerseys that I've seen uh, for this season. Then a little bit further east we have Monaco, the one non-French team in the French league, but you know they have been playing there forever and of course they have one of the most unique uh, jersey designs and now here's another take by Nike. This uh, split uh, upper part red, lower part white. Well I don't think this is per this, this is the perfect embodiment of it. I again don't know if uh, Monaco has a sponsor, so we are looking at a sponsorless version. Um, the one thing that bothers me at first is that both sleeves are white. I think it makes sense if one was uh, red and the other one was white or both red. I think this would make more sense. I also don't like this weird striping gradient uh, going on the jersey. Um, the new Monaco crest I think is fine. I mean we have we have seen this already for a few seasons. But yeah, I mean overall with the color scheme you cannot go much uh wrong. It, it's just red and white and it always will pop. So that that is nice. I just wish the top had a little bit more red and that it wouldn't have the gradient. Although if you look at it from from a distance, it makes actually for quite a nice and interesting look. It still is a little bit too much. But yeah, as I said, you cannot too much wrong within the classic jersey design so I would go seven and just remember this for one of the next things we're looking about. Nike does not mess here with the classic jersey design. 
Uh, they do mess a little bit with the away jersey, which of course has to be dark, but I wonder why do we have green? Why? Uh, it's almost like a... Yeah, somewhere between a goalkeeper and a hunting jersey. I mean, it looks noble, but it's, it's off-putting a little bit to me, to be honest with you. Uh, it's a smart idea, but again, this is green because we can have green, not because we have necessarily a uh, connection with green. Well, maybe there is, uh, just update me. And of course, there needs to also be the red and the taping on the back is in red and <clears throat> this bugs me. It just doesn't look nice. I wonder, I, I guess the numbers will, will be white. So uh, yeah, five. Gold around, yeah, this is a five. I'll say that. Next team, and probably one of my more favorite ones is Nantes. And I like Nantes for three reasons. First of all, when I really got fully into club soccer, meaning I could actually spend the time watching on TV and so on, Nantes just became French champions and they had these really nice um, yellow green striped jerseys that I liked a lot back then and they made it into the, I think to the semi-finals in the Champions League where they were eliminated by Juventus in 96. They also have what I think is the nicest stadium in France. The stadium in Nantes is just a beauty and uh, I was even there um, and I wanted to see it and suddenly I see a corridor and I could walk right on the pitch. No one was there. Uh, it was pretty cool. So uh, I that's why I always liked not. Of course, now they have only yellow with some green, but uh, and a red sponsor. Make this sponsor green, and we're talking uh, great things here. It's a New Balance shirt. It has some a shadow pinstriping on there. I like the simplicity of it. Um, not is kind of a traditional club in France, although they have hit some rough times. But yeah, uh, I think this is a. Good looking jersey, of course, I wish there was a little bit more green and the red sponsor is a little bit ruining it for me. So that's why I only go seven. The away jersey has a lot, makes a lot more sense, but I don't like the colors. Again, we have dark green, which at least makes a little bit more sense because uh, not is green, but this shade is a little bit too dark. And then why use the white? Uh, use a yellow here to kind of make the inverse of the other one. But the sponsor is white, so therefore the whole jersey makes a lot more sense visually. Because of the choice of colors, I'm gonna drop it down to six, but not. Uh, but overall the jersey design is nice. Make a little bit of lighter green and put some yellow in there. Mwah. You have a great jersey on your hand. And now we're coming to the team where I'm wearing the away jersey from way back when they were not that great. Uh, but now they are the prohibitive favorites uh, with the front line of Cavani. Mbappé and the rolling noodle from Brazil. No one sees how they cannot win the league uh, by a mile again and they actually think in Champions League. The one thing I have to say, uh, and I think it's still for the past five if not six years, the PSG jerseys I do not like because they are trolling with me. For me, this is the classic PSG design if you invert the blue with the white here. This is what I want to see on the home jersey. Now, if you look at this home jersey, it has all the navy, so that that, that, that is nice. But then um, it has also the red center, but A, it is too thin, it is too many squiggly lines, and it completely omits the white outline. And this is the only French club jersey that I own, and I really would like to have the, in, the inverted but classic looking version of it. I cannot get myself to buy any PSG jersey, and I can, uh, of all, all, also for other reasons, but I still, they are kind of the team, I will tell you more when I talk about this jersey, that I used to like a lot, just because I fell in love with the city of France. Uh, but I'm very happy nowadays if some smaller teams really give them a run for the money, Montpellier, anyone, just saying. And the, the trolling job continues on, on the back where the taping does exactly what I, I want to see, maybe too thin. We have the red uh, band and then it's outlined with white. And the same thing is true for the numbers, um, which are red out, outlined in white. It looks great overall. Uh, it's just a zigzaggy pattern because of the trolling job. And then, of course, you have a two-line sponsor, which is also not that great. 
that's what drops this jersey a little bit down for me. Um, I still think if I take all of this aside, this is an eight star jersey because you know Nike tries to do something special with it. It just could have been much, much better. I want to see a classic Paris Saint Germain jersey again. I really, really want to. Not all these experiments that we get, we get of late. The away jersey tries to be very classy. It is white and then it has gold. And for once, the gold makes sense because PSG is winning the league and everything uh, in, in the side. But why cannot be the sponsor also gold? I think when Milan had a white gold shirt not too long ago, the, even the Fly Emirates sponsor, same sponsor was also in gold. Uh, but honestly, it's a little bit boring. Uh, it tries too much. Uh, also, the taping on the back. It's black and you have the gold outline around the number. Um, yeah, it's just, it tries to be classy, but I think it actually fails at being so. And for that, I think I'm only, only going to give this five. I would expect more uh, from that. They do way too little with it. Of course, uh, the gold keeping jersey will have the Jordan Jumpman, which is another uh, interesting feature. On to the most titled team in France, Saint Etienne. Uh, has won 10 titles and it's kind of amazing that there's no team in France that has won more than 10. Saint-Étienne is the team where Michel Platini became a big st uh, star before he moved to Juventus, so they surely have some history. Also they made it once to the European Cup final where they lost to Bayern Munich, uh, I think it was in 76. This year's jersey is made by Le Coq Sportif, another French um, company that is finally making jerseys again. Remember, they used to make the Argentina jersey in 86. And yeah, uh, the Le Vert, the green, have a green jersey. Again, I think the tone of green is a little bit too uh, dark. Uh, look at the crest, there's a, some brighter green there. Other than that, I like the design. It looks, it's a very classic soccer design, uh, soccer jersey design, very plain. I like that the color is a little bit darker and then also on the sides, we will see a little bit more of that in the next uh, installment of the, of the jersey. Um, this also a little bit darker, so to add a little bit accent, of course, there are a few sponsors on there. Um, maybe the Le Coq Sportif logo is popping the most out of everything on there, but I still, and then there's a French flag on the inside. I'm, I don't think it will be on the outside. Uh, that would be weird. But yeah, it's a nice jersey. It's It doesn't really grab me uh, as much and probably down to, to, to the colors. So I'm probably only gonna give it seven for that reason. However, the away jersey looks much nicer. Same thing, it's just white on green. Uh, and for that, I'm even gonna go nine. This is a really nice jersey. I like it. Maybe they could have done a little bit more, but even if you have the green side stripes, uh, this is a nine. This is a really classic jersey design. Uh, looks old school, except for the sponsors. Um, the green could match up, then it would be perfect. But this is really, really nice. And Saint Etienne also has a third jersey uh, in black with green. Oh, it's a little bit, yeah too much almost, I'm inclined to say. Uh, I'm only go seven here. I mean, again, it's nice, but you know, you have the white sponsor, the dark green here. Yes, it needs to pop the sponsor. But yeah, I'm not sure if I like this color comb, comb combination. So I'm gonna give it seven. Again, the template for the jersey is great and we'll see more of that when I'm talking Serie A. Strasbourg, uh, another team that made it back now. I think they were champions, uh, but they have very simple jerseys. This is the Condivo template in blue with lots of sponsors. I mean, the AS sponsor is just way too big on there. Um, and then, yes, these sponsors, every, everything. Also, the shade of blue. Strasbourg should play in a much, much lighter blue. This is uh, too strong, in my opinion. Uh, look at the crest. We have the light blue with the red stripe going across. Um, yeah, for that reason, I'll only give it five stars. And the away jersey is pretty much the same in white, except that the sponsors look even more uh, in your face and off-putting. But yeah, nah, this is a four. This is a four. It looks messier than the home jersey. 
honestly. It looks much messier than the home jersey. Probably because the sponsor is really huge on the home jersey and on, on the VH jersey. Uh, it is much smaller and it makes it messy and there are too many colors thrown in. So for that reason, yeah, this is only a four. I'm sorry, Strasbourg. I really like the city of Strasbourg. Uh, and yeah, for that, I always have sympathies for the team too. And I'm glad that they're back. Unfortunately, this is just not a good jersey. I'm sorry to say. And the last one that we're looking at is Toulouse, uh, which play in purple. And this is by Homa. And it looks similar to the Saint Etienne, it's just simpler, but I actually like it's all purple. Then you have just a little yellow on the sleeve cuff and inside of the collar here. Um, like it's a nice accent and it doesn't even bother me that everything else is in white. Uh, maybe a little bit too much, but I actually like this jersey. I think I would give this an 8. Even the monochromatic crest, this, there is something about this jersey that I really like. This is an 8. And the away jersey is very similar, but it has French flag uh, sleeve cuffs. That's also nice. Uh, and actually it makes more sense because every everything now is in purple. It's more unified. Despite all the sponsors on there, I'm inclined to go nine here. This looks really, really nice. I know I'm not very coherent, but this is just, I give you my straight feeling. This looks really nice despite that many responses up there. So while I was preparing for the next preview, I found there's another French team. Unfortunately, I still had the French setup. Start Rennes, I still have to look at, so let's go straight to it. And I'll add this. Uh, the home jersey is, as we would expect, in red with some black accents, made by Puma. Fortunately, I don't see the whole jersey because there's the soccer boot obstructing the view a little bit but actually there is I like it quite some uh, it has some vertical striping it's not uh, as dark I mean it's kind of uh, black dots that remind me of the France 1984 kit uh, the sponsor is a little bit big but actually it's a single sponsor so that's fine and I like the use of the you know the armbands of the Puma jerseys are now in black and then there's just some of the red dots. The only thing that I don't like is the color, which is kind of the typically Puma style. But now they have the black here on the sides and it's empty on the front and on the back. That, yeah, could be better. So I would say, let's give it a seven. Nice idea, but um, could have been executed a little bit better. The away jersey is white, also by Puma, one with black pants and red socks. Um, I actually like this one again better. Uh, there are two really nice features. First of all, um, it is white, but it has the red and black uh, stripes here on the side. Would be nice if it goes all, all around the corner, also a color, all around the collar. And also the sleeve cuffs are in red and black. And then uh, there's of course a huge sponsor and then uh, the really nice pattern on the bottom of the jersey which reminds me of the flag of Brittany which is also here on my Ren scarf. That makes a for, for a really nice look. Uh, again, that's an understated jersey that's quite good looking so I would give it nine stars. And we will well, there you have it. I actually ran through those teams faster than through to, through the previous ones, although there I think were more jerseys there. But yeah, that's how it goes. I give you give you my immediate view when I see it, and sometimes it goes faster, sometimes it goes not so fast. I hope you liked this video. Let me know what you think about all these jerseys. And yes, I know I'm not I'm not making any favorites with wearing a Paris Saint-Germain jersey now and all that. Um, it just happens to be the team that in the 90s I liked a lot. And I will do now a video on this jersey and I'll let you know more about that. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, I make season previews for Spain, Italy. I already have the Premier League done, uh, Bundesliga. And I will look at a few of my shirts and I give you some other thoughts as well. If you want to hear more of that, subscribe to my channel.
and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.